go ahead and get started now. So everyone, thanks for jumping on. I'm really excited to have everyone on this call tonight. Um, basically, we're going to share with you something that's changed my life personally. I'm 22 years old. I'm a health, wellness, and fitness major. I'll be graduating this year, and this has literally changed my view on health, fitness, everything. And Brian, our presentation guy for product, is doing push-ups right now, getting all pumped up because it's just it's it's exciting. Like we have this energy all the time. But basically, I started doing this. It's called what we're going to introduce you guys today is Juice Plus. Juice Plus is something I started back in May. And I was this guy who was big into fitness, anything like that. And my buddy Luke came to spoke to one of my classes and I learned more from him in an hour than I learned from the entire semester from that teacher, right? Imagine that having a bad teacher, right? So when he invited me to an event just like this, except it was live, I was like, yeah, why wouldn't I go to that, right? So I had a couple other meetings with him and it's finally started to make sense. I'm kind of a slow learner like that. So when he got in my face and got about this close to me and goes, whey protein is crap. Well, he didn't say crap. He said a worse word than crap. But for the sake of being polite, that's what he said. And that really hit me. Like, I'm probably not doing what I need to do. So I immediately started taking it and saw immediate results within myself. Within the first week, I was already sleeping better. I had more energy. I was getting stuff done at work. And my coworkers were like, what are you doing? You know, why are you so excited all the time? Like, I don't really know. I haven't really changed anything. Stuff like that. But that's not even the biggest change I've seen. The biggest change I've seen is in um, my weight. I was 220 pounds in May. And I'm going to ask you guys, how many of you would take um, fitness advice, health advice from an overweight trainer? If anyone raises their hand, you, sh you shouldn't be, right? I was 220 pounds. And now I've dropped down to, to 200 pounds without really changing anything. All I've been doing is putting the capsules in my body and drinking the shakes. So obviously there was something missing in my diet and I haven't changed my workouts, but there's something changed in my diet that I was able to pinpoint with that, right? So when you, when people tell you you need to work out, you can do this, your results come from your nutrition, right? Nutrition is 80% of your results and this is what we have to share with you guys tonight. And basically it's a simple way to bridge the gap of how many fruits and vegetables you eat every day. Because how many of us actually eat enough fruits and vegetables? Not enough, right? No one does. And how many of you do fruits and vegetables make sense to? Everyone should be raising their hand, right? So I'm going to pass it over to my buddy Brian here. And Brian, if you want to, if you want to share with everyone your story, what you struggled with before, Juice Plus, results you've seen, and what you're excited for, and then he'll cover the first part of our presentation. All right, thanks for the intro, Tyler. So for me, do you just want to hold this camera real quick? All right, so for me, like the thing that I struggled with the most was my nutrition, like being a high school kid, like I didn't always eat the greatest. Me and my friends would always go, we'd always go to like McDonald's and stuff. We wouldn't really eat good at school because their options were absolute crap. And I don't know, we just didn't, we just didn't really have the variety that I was really looking for. And then like, I've always been like big in the house. So I knew that Tyler was a part of personal training. So he was doing this program here at UW South where I'm currently enrolled. So I just wanted to learn a little bit more about that. So I messaged Tyler, reaching out to him. And I mean, as you can imagine, I kind of played right into his hand with this opportunity. But, you know, he told me a little bit about some questions that I had. And then he's like, oh, well, you should come check out this event. So I came down, I sat and I listened. And honestly, I would, really wasn't tuned in until he started talking about how, like, fruits and vegetables, like, how, like, it's so, it's so difficult for people to get that amount into their body as to what's recommended. So, I mean, immediately that, like, clicked to me. And then I started discussing about the protein shakes that are available. And, like, for me, my whey protein shake at the time was 1,300 calories, like, 50 grams of protein in one shake. So my shaker bottle was literally, like, this this tall. <laughs> so it was pretty difficult for me to finish. And after I was in the food coma zone feeling like crap. So I listened. It made sense to me that uh, plant-based protein is a lot better for you. You can actually absorb the amount of protein they're giving you. So that that's what made me click. And after that, after that presentation, I hopped on the product, hopped into the opportunity because it made sense to me. You know, I really was more focused on what the product could do. But, I mean, at the same time, now looking back, I'm really happy that I hopped into the opportunity as well because, you know, I, without Juice Plus, I wouldn't have been able to register for my classes next semester just because my bill for fall semester was just r ridiculously high. So I'm just really thankful for this opportunity to be able to be a part of something like this because, I mean, you don't really realize what it can do for you until you run into a situation like that. So 
that's my story. I'm kind of going to, I'm going to talk about some fruits and vegetables and stuff with you guys. So I hope this makes sense to you. I don't, I mean, you guys should probably check this out real quick. I'm just going to write this. So these are my excuses. And my first excuse was money. So they're, they're going to discuss this a little bit more, but I mean, in a general sense, you know, what, what types of excuses do you really have in life for not, not doing what you want to do? So we kind of just went through these. Me and Tyler bounce ideas off of each other all the time. And that's what makes us grow so fast. And, you know, it's just, it's more about like building relationships rather than, you know, chasing the money for me. But I mean, at the same time, it's just, hold on one second. It's just an all in all really fun experience. So let me ask you guys something. How many fruits and vegetables do you typically eat in your day? Average day to day. The average person in America will eat three or less servings every single day. Can anybody relate to this? I'm sure most of you can that are on this call if you're listening to this for the first time. So how many do you think you're supposed to eat? It's recommended that you get seven to 13 servings every single day. Does that seem like a realistic number? If you were to go to the grocery store and buy seven to 13 servings a day, how much would that re realistically cost you? And for people who have active jobs, you know, I guess for me, this is an active job. I like to jump around, you know, get excited for events. So I feel like I would fit into this category. And for people who work out, it's recommended that they get 15 to 20 servings a day, 20 plus. So if you thought this number is expensive, think about if you're active, working out, exercising, that type of thing. So we we offer an affordable way to bridge this gap with the trios, the trio capsules. And with these capsules, you actually get 30 different fruits and veg every single day. How much would that cost you? So if you were to go to the produce store and you wanted to get quality fruits and vegetables, you buy 30 different ones, it's going to be a pretty expensive bill, right? So with this, this costs you $2.38 a day. $2.38 a day for 30 different fruits and veg. So now another thing that I want to touch on is we have this thing called the children's health study, which breaks this number down by two, which are total to a dollar and 19 cents a day each. So say for example, me and Tyler never heard about this. So we go to an event, you know, product makes sense to both of us. I'm going to order the capsules. I'm going to sponsor Tyler under the children's health study and have him get on the product for free. So this allows you to get an extra person on the product for free with literally only paying a couple extra dollars for shipping. So, you know, what's, what's that really worth to you? So a lot of the new people that listen to this for the first time are like, Oh, this is probably just one of those latest and greatest things. But have you ever heard of this before? A lot of people will say no, because the only way that this spreads is if people talk about it and people suck at talking. So this company has been around for 46 years. And you're like, wow, I've never heard of that. It's so weird. And the product itself has been around for 26 years. So with this company having this product out for that long, it allows us to build credibility. So that's why this, this company has 36 different published studies. So these published studies are like from the American Diabetes Association, Cancer Association, Journal of Pediatrics, um, Sports and Exercise Science. So those type of studies that you can't buy your way into. So you can't just give these people money, say, hey, do this research and give me the stamp. See, these companies are not affiliated with Juice Plus whatsoever. They did their own study and sent, and sent us the published study stamp. So they approved. I mean, there's really nothing that you can go wrong with adding fruits and vegetables into your diet. So one thing that I want to show you guys is this isn't a supplement. It's completely whole food. That's why there's a nutrition facts label on there. Oh yeah, yeah. So just in this red bottle, those are the variety of fruits and veg you'll get. And there's two other bottles that have another plethora of different fruits and vegetables that you get while taking the capsules. And the reason that has a nutrition facts label compared to the supplement 
is it's not a supplement. So with this, it is purely whole food fruits and vegetables that you're getting into your body. So along with that, along with the capsules, there's another part to our health that a lot of people struggle with. Let's see how well I can erase here. It's a lot better than my whiteboard. Okay. Okay. So how many meals a day do you, does everyone eat? Average day to day, I mean, think about today, how many meals did you eat? So the average person will eat two meals a day. How many do you think that you're supposed to eat? What's recommended? Studies show that it's recommended that you get four to six smaller portion meals every single day. How many people have time to eat four to six meals a day? So we offer a bridge to this gap as well with the shakes and bars. So with these shakes and bars, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> yeah, I kicked the sand. You get an additional 15 fruits and vegetables. And these shakes and bars cover what's called your macro nutrition. So with your macros, oh, bad handwriting. You're getting protein, you're getting fiber, and you're getting carbs. So and realistically, a shaker a bar costs you $2. $2 for shaking a bar. So if you were to go sit in the drive-thru at McDonald's, how much on average do you spend every trip you take just for yourself? Now compared to this number, quite a difference, right? So now another thing I wanna to touch on with that is, is the food that you get at McDonald's pretty quality? Like, are you getting nutritious food there? Probably not. I, I mean, I haven't been there for a while, but I would just assume that McDonald's doesn't have the most nu nutrient-dense food. But now look at this. You get your protein, your fiber, your carbs, 15 different fruits and vegetables, in addition to the capsules that you're taking. So, I mean, really, just it's a common-sense question. You know, what's, what's the better solution? Stay, this is more economic, and it's just better quality food with these protein, fiber, and carbs. So along with this, I'm going to touch on how this isn't a meal replacement, but it's actually a tool that we use. So these shakes and bars are a tool we use to balance our blood sugar and insulin levels throughout the day. So if you eat two meals a day, have no insulin in your body, all of a sudden you eat a bunch, so your insulin skyrockets into the food chromosome. That's where you're not feeling good, not productive, you know. I mean, you can relate this to Thanksgiving where you overeat, what do you do next? Most guys I know will sit on the couch and they'll fall asleep, right? While the ladies do the dishes. <laughs> so, and then after that, they'll finally fall into the zone where they're supposed to be at. You know, they'll be productive, do stuff they need to do, and then they won't eat until dinner. So it'll be in the no willpower zone. They're like, oh crap, I didn't eat all day. I didn't eat for six hours. I'm starving. They'll do the same thing, skyrocket into the bad insulin zone and not feel good, do the same thing. So it's just a repeat cycle. And with this, it allows you to get four to six smaller portion meals. So it balances your blood sugar and insulin levels throughout your entire day. Would your mood swings change a little bit? Would you probably be feeling a little bit more energized and maybe a little bit happier? For me, I've noticed that a bunch. Like with me in classes, like I get bored in classes, all right? Like it doesn't interest me because I'm taking generals. But at the same time, like two o'clock rolls around, I used to be that kid who would just sit on their desk and just be completely zoned out. But now... Like, I'm fully engaged in classes. I'm ready to go. So, I mean, that's that's kind of a difference that I've known personally. So, I can only – and I, I'm a pretty fit guy. Like, I, I work out. You know, I'm good about my nutrition. But, I mean, what effect could this have on somebody who really isn't knowledgeable about that kind of stuff? So, I mean, really just take it as it is. I mean, what's the investment really worth to you? So, that's all I got. I'm going to pass it over to Tyler. All right. Sorry, well, I had to hold the camera, so I'm, like, running back and forth. Um, so, basically, I mean, does that make sense to everyone? It's pretty common sense, right? If common sense were a little more common, there'd be a lot less issues in the world, right? Everyone understands fruits and vegetables are good for you. I mean, that's, that's easy, right? So, but we could tell you about the product all day long, but what, really, what people really like is stories, right? You like to know what it's done for people. I like to know what stuff is done for people. So, we're just going to call on a couple people here to tell what our amazing product has done for them. So if I could call on Sarah, Sarah Grundy, if you're out there.
must not be out there. So uh, in replacement for her, I'm going to call him my little brother, Kenny, um, just to share just in a short period of time what you've seen, you know, what you're excited about. Just keep it nice and short. If you want to unmute yourself. Hey, everybody. So um, like Tyler said, uh, I'm his little brother. A uh, couple months ago, I was starting my second job, and Tyler told me to, you know, check this video out, this thing he was doing. And I just – I kept putting it off. I'm like, yeah, whatever. It's just another one of those things. And I kept putting it off. And the night I finally decided, you know what, I'm going to take a look at this because it means a lot to my brother. I'm going to take a look at it. And, you know, my struggle right now is that I, I absolutely hate my job. You know, I'm, I'm the dead end person right now of cashiering at Costco. I just, I mean, it's a good company, but it's just not for me. Not what I want. So that's my struggles. I just can't stand what I'm doing. And the one thing that made sense to me is that this is just such an opportunity for anybody that anybody can do. It's such an easy thing. All you have to do is talk with people and then, you know, fruits and vegetables who can't use more of those. It's just such a motivating team that I'm a part of every day. And I just really like being a part of everything. Awesome. Awesome story. Um, looks like we also have Sophia here on. All right, so I'm not going to see her. So I'm going to throw another newbie under the bus here. Um, Michaela, if you would unmute yourself and just tell you what you've seen in the short period of time you've been taking the product and what you're excited for. Yep, I'm still here. <laughs> um, I've seen a lot of motivation to these videos, and that's what has really drawn me to watching them over and over again. Um, just a real t solid team, and that's kind of hard to see in my job. I work with Kenny, so... We both get the feeling of like a dead end job and it's just not worth going to work and cut was it really drags you down throughout the day and these videos just really see seem very motivating. Everyone's trying to push each other up and stuff and I've seen a lot of this product's been helping a lot of people and I'm excited to see what it can do for me and possibly the people I care about around me too. So. Awesome, awesome. And Michaela, in the last few days you've been pretty sick for the last week or so. How have you been feeling since you got your capsules and shakes? A lot better. Um, yesterday was kind of a worse day, but I wasn't able to eat much solid foods, but I was drinking the shakes because they were nice and cold and just like a good fluid getting into me. And today I feel way, way more better. And uh, I've been feeling really good. Uh, not as bouncing off the wall as I've seen Kenny on this stuff, but I'll probably get there soon. But <laughs> I definitely feel more energized this morning. I got out of bed and I was like, oh, I don't even feel tired. This is great. So. I'm excited to see what else this stuff can do for me. Awesome, awesome. I muted, I muted myself. Listen, guys, we could go on for stories all, that, all night long, right? Like, we could talk and talk and talk about what this has done for people. But if this makes sense to you and you know people that, I mean, everyone needs help, right? If you know some people that could really benefit from, you know, listening to what we're sharing with you tonight, we'd love for you to pay attention to the next part where we're going to share about the amazing opportunity that this business is going to supply to you. I mean, how many of you guys have ever been to a restaurant or a good movie, right? And you've shared it with someone. That's what you do, right? You go tell them. Did, that, did they cut you a check? Like, did you get a check from the movie, movie theater or the directors or anything? No, right? You don't get paid to share that stuff. And that's what we do. We share this product with everyone we know, love, and care about. And even people we have no idea who they are, right? Because everyone needs better help. So I'm going to pass it over to Manan, and she's going to cover the amazing opportunity. Hi, everybody. Hey, um, thank you. You're just doing an amazing job there. Tyler, you really, you're just rocking it. I'm very impressed. Um, it's so simple. That's what's so great about this. So hi, my name is Manon Bays, and um, I'm just going to share you my story real quick. I have a master's in medicine, and, um, and I worked in ER, OBGYN, hospital-based medicine for many years, and I really loved working in a team environment, and I felt really fulfilled because I was helping people on a daily basis. The one thing that really kind of was never settled well with me is that every month I had to choose which two weekends I wanted to work. Um, I didn't want to work any weekends every month. <laughs> um, and how many people of you out there have to make those choices with work, you know? And I also had to decide, did I want to work Christmas or New Year's? And I don't want to work either anymore, okay? And any of you have to work the holidays at all? Can I see some hands at all here? And, you know, and then I had a really big life change. I became a mom, and, um, and my priorities shifted. And those, those things that I didn't want to do anymore became really like a huge leverage point for me. And my dear friend Lauren introduced this business to me, 
And the products instantly made sense to me, fruits and vegetables and capsules and chewies. And I've been an athlete my whole life. And, um, and it just, it, and I've been into food and nutrition my whole life. It's really important to me. And I was really impressed. And so with that, I actually, you know, slept better, lost the last 20 pounds, of my baby weight, which I was having a real time, higher time struggling with. And I had improved energy and my uh, gum stopped, stopped bleeding. Um, but then what happened was, is when I looked at this business opportunity, I figured I have a strong work ethic and, um, and I really love to make a difference in people's lives. And I love the teamwork and really helping people say yes to more in their lives. And so since I've been doing this business, I'm well on my way of replacing my income uh, at the hospital and I'm able to be a mom and I'm feeling very hopeful about our fu my future and because it's in my hands and I love that so much. So a little bit about the business here. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit here. Hang on. Um, you know, it's a couple things that they talk. Can you guys see the board here? This is good? Okay, good. Um, so it's a 46-year-old company. Okay, it is um, 13 billion in sales. Okay, and it's 100% debt free. Okay, the other thing too, same senior management since inception. Okay, and um, and it's in 26 countries. Um, and actually now we just got word that we can ship almost anywhere around the world, even if we're not in that country, um, in that country specifically. So we can ship to almost anywhere in the country, in the world, which is pretty amazing. Most Fortune 500 companies would love to say one of these five things, never mind all five of them. This company is built to last and um, it's really quite amazing. So what I wanted to talk to you about next year is, um, you know, there's always that pink elephant in the room, right? You know, is it one of those things? You know, is it one of those things, right? And um, it's one of these things, right? And what I'd like, can you guys see that? Here, I'm going to turn my, turn my, there we go, okay. The other people ask, you know, is it one of those pyramid things? And what I really like to, you know, just address it up front, because what, what you know, this is actually, um, a pyramid is an illegal thing. Um, for starters, it's like a Ponzi scheme. And um, I always, does anybody out there know what it is? I mean, I'd like to kind of review it, but I feel like it's not, it's, what is it? So basically what it is, is if um, I took this pen and I sold it to Tyler for five bucks, and then he sold it for Olivia uh, for 10 bucks, and then Olivia sold it to Jordan for 30 bucks, and uh, Jordan then sold it to Mo for 40 bucks, and Mo stuck holding a pen that's not worth 40 bucks and no product really moved around, okay? What we do in our business is we actually are distribution channels where we actually, um, it's a way of getting product out where basically we, um, money's collected, product is shipped, and we actually help and we have customers. So that's basically the main difference. We just, we're a different way to get product out there in the world. Um, but this triangle thing is very traditional business actually. If you think about it, whether it's the government or banks or the military or Walmart, anything like that, right? But at the top here you have a CEO, right? And below that, um, let's say you have some EVPs and some VPs and district managers and um, store managers and you have some shift managers. And down here, you have um, Susie Q and she's at the till and she's just having a really good time working down here and she's a really hard worker, okay? But you know, what's her, you know, she might get promoted to let's say shift manager or maybe even store manager. But then if you notice that when you move up, there's less space up here, right? And so that's when politics come involved. How many of you work in a job where there's politics? Can we see a show of hands here? How many of you have seen politics where, you know, people kind of want you to do well, but not better than them because you might make them lose a job, right? And, um, and that's really, it's, it's not very, uh, how, should, how shall I say, supportive. <laughs> people aren't out there to try to help you. They're actually out for themselves, and they actually might knock you off if you get too far up here, right? And what's the chance that Susie Q here is going to become the CEO of Walmart? One in a million, maybe? I mean, there's a small chance, right? If she married a Walton, she might make it, right? <laughs> anyway, so what I'd like, and where is most of the benefits, or the, let's say the bonus money? Is it on the top or the bottom of a normal corporation? Is it on the top or the bottom? It's always up at the top here, where most of the benefits and bonuses are here. Now, our type of business, I like to say it's more like this, okay? Where we all start here at the, um, at the base, and we start at the base for, um, for $50. And um, here we go. We all start at the base here for about 50 bucks, okay? And that's at the dealer level, okay? And the top position here is NMD. There's about, and anybody can go from top, from the bottom, 
here just by working the way up, okay? And in this country, there are about 400 NMDs, and there's plenty of room at the top here, okay? And what's really nice about what we do is people support you as you go moving up. Um, Tyler and I are not even on the same um, team or downline, but we really lock arms and we help each other. Same with a lot of the other people on this line, which is really just amazing. And um, I love that whole feeling here. I mean, looking at Andres and Callie and Mariana and Tyler and Kenneth, we all work together, but none of us are in each other's bay lines, but we actually lock arm and lift each other up. And it's really quite an amazing experience. Um, but anyway, so as you move up through these um, levels here, you get up to NMD. Now what I'd like to go over next here, hang on, let me, um, the next thing I wanted to go over here is how does this really work, okay? So it's kind of like what I call the popcorn effect. I'm going to go down here. So here's you, okay, and you're smiling and happy because you pay 50 bucks, and you think, I can share this with somebody, right? Just like what Tyler talked about. And then what happens here is, let's say you share it with a few people, and, um, and they think it's pretty amazing, and they're all happy campers because they're feeling good, looking good, and having some fun, right? And then, let's say, then they start sharing it with people, and you get this little popcorn effect, right? And it kind of keeps coming down just like this. See this here, what's going on? It's pretty amazing how it just kind of starts branching out. And it's simply through word of mouth. It's really quite, um, quite special. And then let's say like one person starts sharing a lot down here, right? So really it's just whatever you put into it. It's pretty amazing how it can just popcorn up like that. So I'm gonna show you some little bit of power of numbers here. I'm gonna take, um, oh, here it is. So here, I'm going to do this real quick. Okay. So I have a question for you. Do you think that, you know, two people like to look good, feel good, feel good, and maybe earn a little bit of money and have some fun? Let's say you did. Let's say you just knew two people, right? And then because you got two people, maybe that person knows two people, right? And so then you have four people, and then you have, teach those four people, and they'll get two people, right? And then those two people get two people. And then those two people get two people, and then you're down to 64, and it's five levels. So at the bottom here, we have actually 64 people. Okay, one, two, three, four, and that's how many in this total organization. You didn't even know all, all the 64 people. You just knew two people, but you taught them to teach. To teach. Make sense? Can I have some bobbleheads? Oh, there you go, bobbleheads. There you go. I love that. Oh, my daughter wants some bobbleheads for Christmas. I have no idea which one she wants. So I don't know. Are there any Juice Plus bobbleheads out there? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so now I have a question for you. What if we can just sit here and ponder for a moment? What if you knew five people that wanted to look good, feel good, earn some money, and have some fun with a great, great group of people? Just what if you knew five people, right? And then we taught those five people to get five people, or they might have known five people, right? And then those 25 people know five people. And then those 125 people know five people. And then those people knew, three, um, knew five people. Look at the numbers here, right? See, what do you think the difference is between those two numbers? To quote our dear friend, Luke, who's not here with us, that's a shitload, okay? But really, the difference between here and here is really just three. That's really diff the difference, and that's the power of the numbers, and that's what's so critical to look at. I mean, look at that, you guys. Check it out. It's not that you need – I mean, when I first looked at this business, I thought that I needed to know 4,000 people, and what I really needed to realize is that all I really needed to know was five people. Mariana has a hand. There you go. Can you show me some five? Show me some skin, people. Five people. That's it right there, okay? So it's pretty powerful. Next up here, I'm going to show you what I call the stairway to heaven. Okay. Sorry, that's a little wobbly. But do you get my drift here? Okay. <laughs> so we're paid. I'm going to show you this a little bit because we're paid um, five different ways. Okay. The first way we're paid is RSP, retail sales profit. Okay. When you sign on, as, as when you first sign on for your 50 bucks, you get retail sales profit. Oops, sorry. Here we go. Can you see that now? There we go. Okay. So you sign on for 50 bucks and you get retail sales profit, okay? And in the first um, 30 days of your business, let's say you have two friends who you'd like to do this with, who are just, you know, two customers, right? And then you're able to actually, you get a, um, you bump up here to DD, or direct dealer, and you get a $100 bonus, okay, which is pretty cool. 
plus retail sales profit, plus you get an increase in commissions of 6%. So commissions is up here, sorry. Okay, and so then you go up to here and you get an increase of 6% on top of the retail sales profit, okay? Which is great. Now when you move up to the next position, VF, okay, you get an increase of up now and through the end of this month, you'll actually get a bonus of $300. You and your, and your person who sponsored you will help you get that, okay? You each get 300 bucks, and you get an increase to plus 14% of commissions, which is pretty awesome, right? Now, the next thing, too, then, then when you get to the top, the next position here, the SC, okay, if you do this by the end of the year, which is totally doable, I actually did this in um, two months. I came here in about, in about two weeks. And I did this in two months, but you can totally do it in less than that. People do it in less than 30 days, which is great, okay? You do this and you get, um, you'll get a $750 bonus, okay? Plus, you'll get um, to the maximum commission level, which is 22%. See, you guys, I'm proving to you that I actually have, I have a background in medicine because my writing is so atrocious, <laughs> okay? Anyway, <laughs> So this is two ways we get retail sales profit commissions. I'm not, you know, then there's a couple other positions up here too. There's SSC, Q, and then NMD. Okay, but the other way that we're paid when you get into these positions is called bid money or um, business expense. Where actually, when you move up to these positions, they actually pay you to grow your business, um, which is pretty amazing. They used to actually have to turn in expense reports, but they don't do that anymore. They just give you more money on top of that to actually build your business based on what you currently have, which is pretty phenomenal. And then the other way, when you get up to NMD, and now um, you'll actually get full benefits. It's the only direct sales company that I know that actually gives you benefits. As, um, and what that means is you get health, dental, vision, long-term disability, you get college assistance. I don't know anybody who does that for your children. That's pretty amazing. Um, and I'm thinking, Tyler, since you're still in school, when you get up there, are you gonna get college assistance? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, and uh, I've never known of an NMD about college assistance, but it makes sense, doesn't it? So it's pretty amazing here. So you get full-time, you get benefits. And when you get to the Q position here, okay, which is right for NMD, you actually get health benefits as well, which is pretty phenomenal. So I just, I mean, as an independent contractor to get your benefits, that is just amazing. I mean, I really... It's such an incredible company that they do that, but they really like to take care of their own and take care of people, which is just phenomenal. Um, let's see. Am I leaving anything out? How am I doing there? Okay. So I'm going to hand it back over to Tyler and see if there's anything else that we need to touch base on here. No, that was awesome. Thank you, Manon, for doing that. You did a really good job. Um, but again, I'm just going to call on a couple people here just to tell you know about their personal business story, what this opportunity has done for them. Um, if Callie could unmute herself and tell her little story. Okay. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Callie. So I started my Juice Plus business about seven years ago. I absolutely fell in love with the product, shared it with a bunch of family and friends. Um, also got some friends on board to build a business. And I didn't really take it seriously. I was kind of just, um, you know, sharing it spontaneously. I was fairly new in my teaching career. I'm a special education teacher, and I'm, I was super dedicated to my students at the time. So I put my business down, but I never fully gave it up. So one of the things that I absolutely love about this company is that you never lose your title. There's no quotas. And so because of that, I was able to put my business down for five years and not really do anything, but I was able to maintain the position of sales coordinator. So about seven months ago, my friend Marissa called me and she's like, Callie, I really want to do Juice Plus. And I'm like, I really don't want to do a business right now. I'm like, I'm really focused on my health. I really don't want a business. I'm like, but you should go for it. And then she's like, and I heard the desperation in her voice. She's like, Callie, I'm behind on my mortgage. And all I could picture were her two beautiful children, a three-year-old and a four-year-old. And I'm like, they need a house. They need food on the table and they need a house. 
So I'm like, all right, I'm not going to build the business, but I'll totally help you. Um, cause you know, I'm focusing on my health, which has nothing to do with juice plus. <laughs> so, uh, 22 pounds later, actually I lost 22 pounds in building the business. And, um, so her and I got to work. We did a bunch of three-way calls. We, you know, shared it with a bunch of our friends. We did some juice plus parties. Um, she got promoted fairly quickly and I absolutely fell in love with building the business. And I just really got, like, just from the results we were getting for our, from our customers and from our family members and their health, and then also the fact that I could literally alter and impact the financial future of my friends was just, I'm like, imagine three years from now, five years from now, the huge impact that I can have on hundreds and thousands of people. So um, ever since that, I just fell in love with the business and I never looked back and I'm building it ever since. Awesome, awesome story, Callie. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to share my story now, actually, personally, especially because my nan had to highlight my college thing. Um, so yeah, like she said, I started this business right away and I'm a senior in college this year and obviously I'm looking for something, right? You need something out of school, but obviously it's harder to find jobs now than ever especially coming straight out of school with that, you need it, right? So I jumped in right away and it took me about nine days to get to the VF level. And after the VF level, I took a break. I took June off. I can't tell you why. I just did, right? So June was a bad month and I saw my paycheck drop dramatically and I was like, absolutely not, not okay. So for the last few months, I've just been going hard, balls to the wall sort of thing. And I've gotten up to that SC level with the, with it looking like SSC this month. And that's crazy to me that I've been able to do that. And it's crazy to me that I, that I have the goal set that I can walk across the stage as a new NMD in Anaheim in April. That's crazy to me that I could graduate with a full-time income, right? But that's not even the thing that I love the most. What I love the most is the people that I'm bringing up with me. My mom's in this business, my stepdad's in this business, my aunt, my cousin, um, my little brother's on this call right now. He shared a story earlier and he's just smashing it. And I also have an 18-year-old Brian, you know, Brian, who just shared the, bit, the product side of everything. He's 18 years old. He's 18. He's a freshman in college right now, and he has the same goal that I do, to walk across the stage in Anaheim. Name to me an 18, I guess could be 19 at that point maybe, uh, that age kid that will have a full-time income as a sophomore in college, right? There, there aren't very many that can say that, right? And that's crazy to me. And it's not even that as the friendship that I've built with them, the amount I'm in contact with my brother, with my mom, with my stepdad, all these people that are so close to me now. And we've built these close relationships where all I want to do is see them succeed because if they succeed, we all succeed because we're a team, right? And that's what it's about for me is the amount of people that I can bring up with me, you know, because I'm excited because I'll get to the top regardless of who wants to win because I'm ready. I'm ready to go, right? This is what it's all about. But I want everyone to come with. And I know everyone feels the same way about their entire team. And that's what the best part of this is about this business. So, I mean, in closing, if you're new to this call, you need to really thank whoever invited you. And if you have any questions, make sure you ask anything you have. But just to close, think, think to yourself, you know, what if, what if you decided to give this a go and really went all out for it? What could it be for you? What do you really want out of life? And are you getting it where you're at right now? Do you love what you're doing? Because we love what we're doing. I don't know if you know noticed, we're pretty excited. So we love what we're doing, and we'd love to have you part of the team. And in closing, you know, just thank you for tuning on, and if you have any questions, follow up with whoever invited you.